Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh, Shalom, 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 Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video, The IUIC is now teaching that all nations will be destroyed, meaning kaput, no more, finished. So I guess they're all going to burn in hell. And this is the video, There Shall Be No More See. So my question is this, I'm not going to make this long, my question is this. Where are we going to get our slave from? Because we're going to rule over the nations for a thousand years and beyond that, unless we're all going to go up into heaven. See, this earth, it tells you in Ecclesiastes, the regular Ecclesiastes in uh, the first chapter, it tells you that the earth shall abide forever. So if the earth is going to abide forever, the earth... The earth has to be uh, tilled, you know, grow crops and so forth. So you need uh, slaves. You need servants. You need people to be under you. Um, there's so many precepts that are coming to my head right now. Isaiah, uh, I'm sorry, Amos, Amos 9, starting from the 12th verse. It speaks about the plowman taking over, uh, overtaking the reaper. And uh, Daniel chapter 7, verse 9 on down, where it speaks about the, the rest of the beasts were prolonged for, for a time. Uh, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, as you read down the 18th verse, the 25th verse. Uh, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom. And um, the, the, well, this, wow, there's so many scriptures. Um, Isaiah, Isaiah 60, Isaiah 60, that whole chapter. So there's going to be a time where they're going to be up under us as servants. And we're going to place them in their land and put them in order, make them keep the laws. But um, there's going to be a time where we're just going to gather them all up and destroy them. Well, if that's the case, <clears throat> why wouldn't, why would you have uh, Obadiah, 1 verse 18 where it speaks about gathering all the Edomites and destroying them and I understand that we're going to destroy them after a thousand years but it could have easily said the Most High could have easily said Edom and all the nations are going to be burnt up because that's not going to happen because we're going to we're going to need us uh, uh, servants so this this clearly is not a, uh, a doctrine that was taught given to uh Bishop Nathaniel uh, in uh, the old school. He's just making up, he's just changing, he's just changing the doctrine. The scripture said, meddle not with them that are given the chains. He's just changing the doctrine. He's teaching that thing. So I guess all, all the nations, the Edomites, the Moabites, the Ammonites, they're all going to burn in hell forever. And, uh, and most Israelites. And um, if, They'll, it says in, um, I'm not going to go to it, but it says, uh, they that are not written in the book of life, they shall be cast into the lake of fire. Well, if that's the case, according to the IUIC, everything that they teach is correct. They don't go off at all. So if they don't go off, that means we we are going off. That means we're going to go to hell. So GMS is going to hell. Sakari going to hell. Uh, ISUBK going to hell. Black, all these Jakes, your mama's gonna go to hell, your grandma, your uncle, your favorite cousins at the cookout, at the family reunion, your kids, if they don't accept it, your wife, if they don't accept it, she's an unbeliever, she's going to hell. So everybody going to hell. The only people that's gonna be in the kingdom are the members of that. They're gonna be walking around forever wearing purple and gold. See, this is, this is uh, dangerous, man. This is extremely dangerous. Let me do this. Worse. Second Timothy three verse thirteen, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. 
Now this little short verse says a whole lot. I'm going to bring some words out. But evil men and seducers. Still with the word seducers. Okay. The word there is Strong's G eleven fourteen. Guys. Guys. Guy guys. A wailer, a howler, a juggler, enchanter, because in in Incantations used to be uttered in a kind of howl. A deceiver and imposter. Now another scripture, I thought this was going to be Galatians 3. Galatians 3. Let's go to that. Galatians 3. Galatians 3. Okay. O foolish Galatians, who hath be bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Yahweh HaMashiach hath been evidently set forth, crucified among you? This only I would, would, I this only would I learn of you. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. So these guys saying you got to keep the law. No, you get you come into this by the hearing of faith. And after you grow in this thing, you begin to keep the laws. When you go to uh, Acts 15 and um, many other precepts, but Acts 15 comes to mind uh, concerning uh, circumcision, that you had, uh, I believe they were either priests or righteous uh or uh, Sadducees that Pharisees that believe, they said you cannot keep the Passover and you cannot go to the kingdom. Ultimately, they said, if you're not circumcised, so they had a council. It's called the Jerusalem Council, and uh, the the head disciples, which you had, you had John and um, Peter and um, James, uh, were two mentioned in that in um, Acts uh, 15. That they said, well, you don't got to be circumcised. Well, that's a law. That's a law. And he gave them a list. Well, you can't commit adultery. You can't eat an animal that dies of itself. You can't eat the blood. But he didn't say, you got to keep all the laws. Apostle Paul said the same thing in uh, Colossians uh, 2, verse 16 on down. Where he said that, don't let no man judge you on a feast and the Sabbath day and high holy days which is a shadow of things that come, meaning it's going to be, a, the laws are going to be applied perfectly in the kingdom when we're under the new covenant. By the way, we're not under the new covenant. Part of the new covenant is fulfilled when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, died and rose back up. That that sealed the covenant, but the covenant, the the uh, the, the fullness of the prophecy will come in when the, when the Lord comes and beams us, us, beams us up, changes us, we're going to go around the world waking up the other Israelites, building the kingdom, putting the other nation in order, and these Israelites are going to come up under the laws. So any Israelite that have children in the kingdom, they're going to come up under the laws. But but they're going to it's going to be in, uh, programmed in them. Now it's not going to be programmed in these other nations, so we're going to have to enforce the law on them because we're going to be perfect. A nation of priests, Lev Levites, so you can understand. It says, Are ye so foolish, having begun in the spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh, meaning the laws? Have ye suffered so many things in vain, if it be yet in vain? So you got to read this whole, this, this is a, a powerful chapter right here. But anyway, uh, let me do this. Um, I want the word bewitched. 
And like nature, nature boy, nature boy bewitched those silly women and those silly weak ass men. And some of them were Edomites, some of them were Jake. Bewitched. Strong's G, 940. Boscaino. 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 To speak ill of one, to slander, uh, traduce him, to bring evil on one by feigning praise or an evil eye, to charm, to be witch. Put a spell over. Just come on back. So what Bishop Nate Nathaniel is doing, he's bewitching the people with lies. These nations are going to be here. Read Isaiah chapter 60. Read uh, Isaiah chapter 49. Read uh, Zechariah 14 on down that they got to keep this, the uh, tabernacles so it says but evil men sh and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived so when he teaches the, his congregation, they blindly listen to him. When he teaches about the uh, MOTB being a, uh, well, he used to say it was an embargo. It was talking about the nations that had nothing to do with people. Now it's talking about sin and all of its forms, whether it be religious, um, political, religious or pol political. So he changed it. He cha meddle not, never, meddle not with them that are given to change. He changed it through the years. When we, we used to go back and forth with him back in 2014, 2015, 2010, whatever, 2016. He changed it. He said the first time he called himself breaking, breaking down Revelation 13 and 16 the correct way, he said that it's not, it has nothing to do with people. It's, it's, ta it's referring to nations, you know, countries, and companies. It has nothing to do with people. Well, then when you jump down to the 17th verse, it says any man that take the, sh the chip in so many words. So you had to change it to, it went from countries and companies to uh, sin in all of its forms, whether it be uh, politically, uh, uh, religious or political. So, you know, he changed the doctrine. Back in 2014, 2010 or whatever, 20. 2009, he never taught anything on hell. He never taught that. That's something new. I don't know if they started teaching that a year ago, two years ago. I don't know. But now they're pushing it. As as Ari always said, they're pushing it heavy. So they're clearly waxing worse and worse. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.